Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we're going to be making a Peter Rabbit cushion. On the front, he's got a Peter Rabbit transfer, which we've printed onto transfer paper and we've ironed on floral motifs. And on the back, we've got a licensed character fabric to highlight the front. Let's get to it. While we're waiting for issue number six to come out, I've been looking at all the different make and creates that come with the magazine. I don't find them terribly inspiring or terribly interesting and I'm not going to make any of them. But today I'm going to make something Peter Rabbit related that I think you're going to like. Today I'm going to make a Peter Rabbit character cushion. And this is the image that I'm going to use. I did have a search online and I looked for free pictures of Peter Rabbit. I then printed him out onto an A4 sheet just for measurement because what we're going to do then is once we've decided on what image we're going to use, I then printed my image out on A4 transfer printer paper. I'm going to iron on my image onto a piece of fabric. We're then going to cut it out and sew our character cushion. It's a nice and quick and easy activity and looks quite effective when it's finished. Transfer paper comes in two varieties. There's a variety for dark backed fabrics and there's a variety for light backed fabrics. And the images are both ironed on with a hot dry iron. The fabric for the front that the transfer is going onto will be this spot fabric. And my backing fabric will be the Peter Rabbit licensed fabric. So I'm just giving my fabric a quick iron before I press the transfer onto it. So I have my transfer here. I don't want all of this white excess around on my transfer. So I'm going to cut around my image. So my Peter Rabbit transfer is cut out and it's ready to be transferred. I'm going to remove the backing sheet of the transfer. I'm just placing my transfer nice and flat in the middle. My iron is nice and hot. I'm going to put a piece of paper over the transfer and I'm going to start pressing it and sealing it onto the fabric. It's recommended that you keep ironing it side to side and up and down in an up and down motion. And he feels like he's sealed and transferred onto the fabric. I'm just going to let him cool. So here we have our Peter Rabbit transfer ironed onto our fabric. He's stuck good and proper. I'm now going to trace around the transfer on the fabric with a circle. I'm after a round cushion. To trace my circle, I'm going to use the inner section of a hoop. I'm going to make sure that Peter's nicely in the middle and that he's centered. I'm then going to trace around the outside very lightly in pen. I'm 
I'm now going to do the same with the circle tracing on the licensed Peter Rabbit fabric. This is the back of my cushion. I'm looking very carefully at the design so that it's even on the back of the cushion. It's now time to cut out both of the circles. A bit of the pen marking didn't come out onto this fabric so I'm just going to measure with the backing sheet. So we've got the back of our cushion and the front. He's looking a bit plain I'm now going to iron on some floral motifs. I've got my iron-on flowers in place. I'm now going to press them on. I'm using a piece of fabric between the iron and the flowers and the transfer. Um, you could melt re or remelt the transfer or burn your fabric. It's now time to sew the two pieces together. I'm going to place the front and the back front side together and start stitching with a one centimetre seam allowance. I'm going to make sure that my backing is straight. And that my front aligns with it. I'm going to pop a couple of pins in it to keep them together. And now it's time to stitch. The opening of the cushion will be at the bottom. So I've sewn all around the cushion and I'm leaving a 5 centimetre gap which I'm going to hand stitch later. I'm leaving the gap so I can turn the cushion cover in the right way and add the stuffing. It's time to turn the cover into the right way. Right. 
Before I add the filling into the cushion, I'm just going to give it a quick press. Sometimes the transfer can get a bit creased when you're turning it in to the correct way. I'm now going to add the Hobby Fill, which is a polyester filling into the cushion. I've filled the cushion. I'm now going to prepare the bottom section so it can be stitched up. I've pinned the gap at the bottom of the cushion together. I'm now going to sew the two sides together. So here we have my version of a make and create. It's the Peter Rabbit Transfer Cushion. He's very easy and quick to make and I think that he will complement the quilt very nicely when it's finished. This little cushion here was made for a child's bed. It could also be used for a child's occasional chair. I hope you've enjoyed this segment of my make and create. It is Peter Rabbit related and I hope you could experiment and have a bit of fun with the transfer paper too. So see you next time in the craft room. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I can't wait for issue number six where we will be making the nine square patch. Bye!